Hey, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today, I have a story time video for you guys. Before we get to it, I just really want to apologize. I realized that I have not posted a video in like three weeks. That's a long, that's a long time. So I apologize so much to you guys. I promise I'm trying to be consistent, but work has me messed up. Literally, I'm at church like 75% of my life. The rest of that work, and then the rest of the time, I'm just trying to either get good at Fortnite, you know, just hanging out with my friends, but I definitely will start recording for you guys. Today, I have a story time for you guys. It's about a catfish, I think. I'm not really sure yet, but it's a very crazy story. You guys know about Kick, right? The app. When I had an Android phone, Kick was like the biggest thing ever. Everyone was just like, hey, what's your kick? you know, like everyone's trying to talk through that app. Every once in a while through that app, you would get that random message from a straight 10, a super pretty girl, and then she'll message you randomly, and you're like, why are you texting me? So you'd get the message, and then it'd be like, hey, it was like a winky face, or like an emoji that's like, you know what I'm saying? This was through Snapchat, so that's why it kind of threw me off because it wasn't like the same old kick story. I was on Snapchat and then I get snapped. I get snapped by a girl and she's like really pretty. So I get on my phone real quick, we start texting. I'm always a person of curiosity and it sucks because curiosity is not always good. Not always good, remember that. Not always good. In my head I was like, dude, I'm just gonna keep texting this girl. I know she's not real. Let's just have a conversation, you know? We're just talking like, hey, how's your day? What, like, where are you from and whatnot? I ask her where she's from and she tells me she's from the UK. And so basically they took like this. We eventually started like voice calling through Snapchat. She had this like super legit British accent. She told me that my accent in town is like a gay teenager. Apparently I suck at the accent. I'll get better at it though. So we started voice calling. Can I help you? Hello, can I talk to somebody who can tell me about in happily hypothetically happy screensaver? Messaging a lot. This is where the weird stuff happened. I need you guys to get your thinking caps on with me, okay? I get her number eventually, after forever, because for the longest time she said that her phone wasn't like working, that good, her service wasn't working. Because of the fact that she went from a England carrier to the US all of a sudden. She said that her service wasn't working too well, so we were uh, messaging and calling through Snapchat for the longest time. Finally got service, we started texting actually through there. Um, I could never call her though, and I, we could never FaceTime even though she had an iPhone. Yeah. Because it was still being processed about her phone carrier or whatever, so she said that she could never FaceTime me. Yeah. Suspicion number one. Keep talking, keep texting. Now at this point, we're sending each other pictures of each other already, right? For your information, I have never, ever send anybody a picture of my body without a shirt. Never anything like clothless never that's weird do not do it i just send her like pictures like selfies of me like wearing shirts and you know typical wearing shirts and jeans and you know her pictures were a little bit more revealing she was not sending me pictures unclothed or anything but she was like oh here's a picture of me and like it was like all the way down here like from her butt and it was like what's up oh why are you, like you're really twisting and turning just so you can get that angle like jeez i don't know if this happens to you guys but i just like talking to people because i want to know how people respond to things like their different opinions in my head i knew that it was really weird to talk to a girl that i had never met that i even thought was not real so i just kind of stopped talking to her all of a sudden i explained to her like hey i'm gonna have to stop talking to you because this is weird. She got like super, super upset at me. Some time passes, go to basketball tournament in San Angelo. Actually, you guys saw that video. I have it uploaded. We went to San Angelo. All of a sudden in my head, it just clicks in my head that she told me that she lived in San Angelo now. And so I was like, -ni 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 -ni. bro, I got an idea. I'm gonna message her and be like, yo, I'm in San Angelo. Come watch me play basketball. I hadn't talked to her in like, two months. I was telling the guys on the team, like, dude, this actually happened, like, this is what she looks like, and again, she was pretty, and they were like, nah, no way, no, you're lying right now, and I was like, no, like, seriously, and then supposedly she lives here, so they were like, dude, message her, like, tell her to come watch you play, and I'm like, hey, like, I'm in San Angelo, you said you lived here, um, come watch me play. She messages me, and she's like, okay, I'll try to make it. I was like, bro, is this really about to happen? So the next day, we get to the school that we're playing at. So before the game, I kind of just messaged her and I was like, hey, are you gonna be able to come or whatever? She doesn't message me until after the game already. We had already played. And she's like, oh, like I got caught up doing something with my mom or something like that. I knew it! Yeah, like I knew, I knew it for sure, brother. I knew that she wasn't real. And so I, like, I was telling the guys like, honestly, I don't think she's real. So they started calling my robot girlfriend, even though like I didn't really talk to her anymore until that time. Hi Sophia, how are you? We got back 
to school and we were kind of still messaging just for, for the giggles of it. She eventually started sending me videos. Now at this point, I was like, dude, this is weird. Like, how is she sending me videos? Things weren't connecting, but at the same time, like she was doing things that would make it seem like like she was real, you know. One day, I'm sitting with my friend at the lunch table. Shout out to Jose. He's like, bro, you should tell her to send you a picture with a spoon on her nose. That's how you know if she's real or not. So I was like, that's a good idea, man. Like, okay, I'll do it. So then I message her. Even though you have every right and reason to believe that they're not real because like so many things point in the direction of them not being real, you tell them that they'll get like really, really upset at you and then just like stop talking to you all of a sudden. I tried to go at it where she wouldn't get upset. I was like, hey, do you think you could send me a picture of you with a spoon on your nose? Because I think that would make a really cute wallpaper. Aww. She's like, are you sure it's not because you don't believe that I'm real? And I was like, what do you mean? No, <laughs> I know you're real. And then I didn't, I didn't, I, just, I still don't know. So this girl sends me a picture. It wasn't like really fast though. It was like maybe an hour or two after. And well, she had a spoon on her nose and it was very impressive. It was impressive, you know, I was not expecting her to do it. So my mind was again blown like to the maximum level. So to this day, I do not know if she is real or not. Mind boggling to the maximum level, guys. This girl sends me a video with a paper that has SamFam on it. That's weird, man. I was so like, bro, I don't know what to believe. Like the whole phone thing was really weird. Like that really for me is what makes it very weird. Like, I don't know. According to her, she subscribed to me actually on YouTube, so. I think that would be an amazing video to make. So if you're watching this video, let's meet up. And this is gonna be an amazing. Thought you were a catfish, but you were real. And then yeah, you could show everybody who you are. My whole theory behind it, she sends me a picture with a spoon on her nose. And then she sends me a video with a paper that says my name on it. This girl's one girl, this girl's another girl, and she's like, hey, can you please send me a video with a Sam Fam on a paper? This girl's like, yeah, sure. Okay. And so she sends it, and so then she just sends it to me and thinks, you know, plays it off. All the pictures that she would send me, they weren't like live pictures. They were like from the gallery on Snapchat. So it wasn't like, oh, I just took this picture. You know, and all of mine were like, obviously, because I'm real. You guys could see me here now. Things just didn't connect, but at the same time, she was doing really crazy things that would point to her being real. That's when I just came to the conclusion that she's asking her friends for these pictures, and then her friend is sending them, and she's playing it off as her. So once again, if you're watching this video, let's meet up. So yeah, that's all to the story, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I gave you all the facts. So that's gonna do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Do not forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell. Anytime that I post a video, it will actually send you a notification, and you guys can watch my video and stay up to date. If you guys are new here, I applaud you for joining the Sam Fam. I can't believe we actually, I don't know if you guys noticed over here, you probably can't see it actually now that I think about it. We actually have 413 subscribers right now, guys. Like, that's insane. Again, if you guys have any ideas, like, hey, I think it would be cool if you did this, or if you did that, or you should have this person on your video more, or you know, anything, anything at all, guys, let me know. If you guys want to see Fortnite, let me know. If you guys want to see pranks, let me know. If you guys want to see more challenges, let me know. Um, and I just love you guys so much. Be safe, be kind, be a mover, and love God, love people, guys. Let's go.